Hey guys, today I wanted to film a full face of makeup using products that I hate. I use the word hate loosely because I don't hate these so much that I want to die. Okay, well some of them I do. These are just products that did not work out for me. I know a lot of other people really like them, just for me, no. Actually, a lot of these might surprise you. I'm gonna try to do my best. I'm just gonna warn you though that some of these products, no matter how hard I work, look like a bag of dicks. I've given almost all of these more than one try. There are some of these that I tried and immediately was like, <laughs> never again. So I'm gonna go through my entire face. I'm gonna talk to you about why I didn't like each product and I put it on my face the best I can and try to make the best looking face that I possibly can. So I'm gonna start off with something that may surprise a lot of you because I would say most of you guys love this product. And I like the brand, I just really don't like this product and that is Benefit Professional. I don't understand the hype around this product. I, I don't get it. There's something about it. Number one, the smell, amazing. I wish every makeup product I could own would smell this way. The product itself is just, it does nothing. I have seen so many people use this and rave about this product. And for me, I've done a lot of half face tests with this professional product. If anything, my prime side looks worse at the end of the day. I'm willing to give it another shot, but I'm going to use a pea sized amount like I've seen people talk about. I'm hoping I do this video and fall in love with some of these products that I wrote off years ago. For me, primers, I just, I don't really believe in them. All right, now that my face is sufficiently primed, I'm going to go in with my least favorite foundation I think I've ever used, and that is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the color Soft Ivory. Not only is this foundation too light for me, it makes my skin look horrifying. To blend my foundation, I'm gonna go in with the NYX Blending Sponge, and this I also don't like. I used this for the first time on camera the other day, and it just, it just soaks up all the product. For me, this foundation just heavily emphasizes my skin texture, especially on my forehead. Also, this color is way off. Every line in my face, every pore, every, just look how gross my forehead looks already. Oh my God. Looks so dry. I wanna make it clear that just because I don't like a specific product from the brand doesn't mean any negativity towards the brand. You guys know I love NYX. You know I love a lot of these brands I'm about to talk about. Look at me right now. Oh my God. I, my skin could not look worse right now. I'm really trying to. I'm not trying to make this look shitty. It just is. I'm gonna zoom you in and just show you how horrifying this looks. All right, for concealer, I'm gonna go in with the NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer, and it's in a little tub like this. It's just, I don't like concealers like this. They're, they're, they just don't look good on me. <laughs> Ew. It's hard to explain what this feels like. There's just something about it I don't like it emphasizes my texture it doesn't cover well enough for me i don't like that it's in a little pot i have to dig my finger into oh my god i legitimately look the worst i've ever looked right now and this is me not trying to do a shitty job to set my very, very dry foundation, I'm gonna use a powder that I just don't like. It's the Makeup Forever HD powder. This is the powder that you see people on the runway look like they're coke addicts. That's this powder because it flashes back big time. It's HD, so it's supposed to look really high def, but it really just flashes back and, look, and looks just gross. My biggest problem with this powder is that when I use this, nothing else will sit on top of it. If you set your whole face with this and you put like highlighter on top, the highlighter will not stick to your skin. It will not work. So I'm gonna bake my under eyes with this like I normally would. Oh, I just went in my coffee. God, I look so good right now. I don't know if you guys can even tell. I don't really have a brow product that I particularly hate. Honestly, I can pretty much make all of them work. So I think I'm just gonna use this NYX Sculpt and Highlight Brow Contour Stick. It is really hard to get a precise line with it because it's so chunky and there's no sharpener with it. But I do like this in a way, like rounded on the tip. I guess I don't love this product in the way that if I don't fix it with a brush, this is how it can turn out. Like this is as 
good as I can get it. I think it doesn't show a true test of the product if I can like fix it with a brush and clean it up with concealer. If this is as good as I can get this product without using concealer and another brush to like fill in all the gaps and use powder to make it better, then what does that say for the product, you know? All right, now that my face is sufficiently baked, I'm going to wipe off all the excess powder and then move on. Oh, wow. So beautiful. I am trying to wipe it off, okay? This is touching my skin. Okay. I'm not trying to make this look shitty, okay? It just is. I'm just, I'm trying. I'm sure this powder was not meant for baking and I'm sure I've used it incorrectly here, but because I do bake my eyes on the daily, I just wanted to use this the way that I normally am used to using this. I'm gonna take a flash photo with my phone and see if I can show you. <laughs> wow. She looks good. So I think it's time to contour my face, and for this, I'm going to go in with the Morphe 06 PW palette. Now you've maybe seen me use this in the past and that was me trying to give it a try. I can tell this is for deeper skin tones. However, regardless of the colors, these just apply super patchy to me. For the contour, I'm gonna use the Morphe G30 brush, which is apparently a dupe for the NARS Eda brush and it's one of these little flat guys here. My contour gets way too sharp. I'll show you. So I'm gonna go in with, I'm not gonna try to make this look shitty, so I'm gonna go with the lightest shade that would best work for me for contour. I'm gonna dip into that product, I'm gonna kinda tap off the excess and I'm going to try my absolute hardest to do a good contour with this. Remember when it was super cool back in the day to use these brushes? Jacqueline Hill talked about the Nars Eda brush and everyone was on that shit. And it was like make a line and then blend up. That's what I'm doing. Oh, okay. Honestly, it's just not a blending brush. It's not for that. Everyone used it for that for a while, but it's just not, it's not good. Now I'm going to highlight my face and my least favorite highlighter I think I've ever used is the Essence So Glow. When I first swatched this, I really thought I was gonna love it because it looks like it's going to be absolutely beautiful. It looks like it's gonna catch the light in such a pretty way. You're like, oh shit, that shines. So you can't put it on top of foundation because it just removes your foundation, makes it ball up and look chunky. You can't put it under your foundation because then the foundation covers it and it doesn't show. How are you supposed to use it? Are you supposed to apply it with your finger? Are you supposed to apply it with a brush? It's a cream to powder. Oh my God, I'm not even shitting you right now. This is how it looked when I was trying on the hardest of days, okay? I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna. So from far away, it might not look that bad. Up close. Oh dear. So chunky. I usually like Essence products, but this one really missed the mark for me. So if you guys have been watching my channel for a very long time, a few years ago, maybe even three, I did a video called Overhyped Makeup Products. And in that video, I mentioned the Urban Decay and Naked palettes. I mentioned Naked 1, Naked 2, I've never tried three. I bought these myself. Actually, my husband bought them for me for Christmas, so sorry, babe. They were so hyped up at the time. I, uh, maybe even been four years ago. They were so hyped up. Everyone was talking about them and how amazing they were and revolutionary and, you know, and maybe they were at the time. Shit's changed in the makeup industry since then. By the way, don't look at this and be like, bitch, but you hit pan on one. I gave this palette to my sister years ago. I borrowed it back from her <laughs> for this video. The problem that I have with this palette, number one, for some reason when I use these shades, I just find it to be super patchy. I think that it doesn't blend well. Also, there is 10 shimmer shades and two matte shades. How the fuck are you supposed to do an eye look with 10 shimmers 
and two mattes. I, there's just, I just don't like it. I don't like it. So I'm gonna go in with Naked and Buck kind of mixed and run them through the crease. Okay, this is a really great example. Now I know the base makeup underneath is shitty, but okay, you see the patchiness? Is it just my skin? I'm blending, blend, 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 okay? I'm doing the exact same motions that I do with any other makeup. This is my Sigma E40 that I always use. I'm not shitting you, that's as much as they'll blend. I'm trying to blend the edges. Like they won't blend. Now, given that those are the only two matte shades in the palette that I just used, I'm gonna have to go in with some shimmers, I guess. I'm gonna try to go in with a little bit of creep on the outer corner to like do an outer V. It does have sparkles in it though, so. If you have these palettes and you ever once thought, maybe I'm just really bad at makeup. Maybe you're really good at makeup, it's just your palette is pure garbage. Now I'm gonna go in with a flat brush and I'm going to dip into Sidecar maybe. Wow, so pigment, much color. Mascara is not something I really tend to hate anyway because I always wear lashes, so. So I'm really not a fan of lashes that don't have any wispiness or fluffiness to them. These lashes are exactly the type of ones that I hate. They're just like straight across. No wispiness at all. These are the NYX lashes in the shade Exaggerated. Shade? In the shade Exaggerated. A shade of lashes, eh? And I'm gonna use a lash glue that I just don't like. There's something about the smell of it. There's something about the the way it feels on my eyes. And it's the Esquito Lash Glue. They sent this to me and I thought I was really gonna love it because it's in this kind of packaging, which I find to be so convenient. I wish all lash glue came like this. So I'm just gonna put a bit of it on the lash band. If any of these products are your favorites and I'm sitting here talking mad shit, props to you. If you guys like this stuff, great. I, I, I wish that I liked this stuff. All right, now moving on to lips. This is gonna come as no surprise to anyone because I've talked about this product multiple times and how much I don't like it. And that is the NYX Lip Lingerie. Dear God. Could this look any worse on me? This is just gonna tie the whole look together right now. I don't like this because it is a whipped formula. It is so whipped. It makes my lips that are pretty non-existent anyway, just look like a cracky butthole. Like you'll see, I get butthole lips so bad with this. All right, and to finish off this look and set it in place, even though I'm going to remove it in five minutes, I am going to be using the Ofra Makeup Fixer Light Mist. Now, I love the mist that this gives out. I also like the product. I cannot stand the smell. It is so overpoweringly scented for me, and I don't like using scented products because I personally am very, very sensitive to smells. That When I spray this on my face, it gives me a migraine, so I'm doing this for you, okay, YouTube? That wasn't as bad as I remember it being. I remember it smelling a lot more perfumey. But back in the day when I used this for the first time, I was like really bad into my headaches, super cluster headachey, and any sort of smell at all, even like somebody passing by me with perfume would send me into an attack. Now I'm a lot better. It's still very strongly scented. It smells good, but it's so intense. I need something that's lightly, beautifully scented like MAC Fix Plus. All right guys, that's it for this video. I hope you like it. Again, no shade to any of these brands. I love NYX, I love Makeup Forever, I love Wet n Wild products, I love all of these brands so much, so it's no shade to any of them. I just don't like these products, they don't work for me personally. If you guys love them, just because I don't, doesn't mean that you need to hate them as well or that I'm telling you the products that you like are shitty. I tried my hardest to make a look that wasn't a bag of shit, but 
to be honest, I look horrifying right now. In person, it is next level. These studio lights are doing me justice. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up to let me know. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not yet. And you guys can follow me on all my other social media stuff. It's all Raw Beauty Christie. That way, if you miss a subscription notification, then I usually post over there to let you guys know that I've uploaded so that you don't miss anything because people have been telling me all the time that they are just unsubscribed randomly. And I think that is some bullshit. And that is also something that I hate, so. Hmm. All right, guys, I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you at my next video.